Hey there, Floodmon 14. And we're back to the more Pokemon Platinum. I'm going to turn this up slightly and let's just get into it here. So, last episode we made it here to Jewel Life City, and in this episode, uh, I think we're going to. Well, we may try to search for a few Pokemon, but I need to check our money for. Eventually evolve into Gyarados. So Speed not very effective. Is it Rock type? Let's find out. Stunky's getting pumped. Pumped to die. Ooh, it's Rock type. Nice. Not very effective. Yeah, I'm a Steel Wall. I'm a Mental Crab Mon. I love the music in this game, though. Yeah, Gen 4 has some really good music. Alright, Stunky Dan. We should get a level. Ooh, close, close. But the Pokemon I got from my dad. Yeah, I know. What's up? Who gave you your first Pokemon? Professor Owen. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. Let's see if there's a hidden item right here. No? I guess this is just a fishing spot. Okay. 
Yeah, and I haven't really checked too thoroughly on her. Ooh, Swine, uh... Wow, an early game ice type. Or, uh, let me, well, correction, it's not gonna be an ice type. But something that can use ice type moves. Hmm. We'll consider it, we'll consider it. I definitely want to get more balls before I try that. Uh, Harden? Probably not want to learn it, but, uh, I might know Mudsport or something, so let's see. Yeah, I do, I do. Hey, buy Mudsport. No need for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, Swinub's usually a late-game Pokemon. Like, I know it was a really late Pokemon in, uh, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green. May I please trouble you for a battle? Sure. Um, but also... Uh, even in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I don't think you can find it until, like, what? Uh... Could you find it on Mount Mortal? Yeah, I've never... No, no, there was the Ice Fall Cave, that's right. But that's still after the seventh gym, yeah. So, because you can find it so late, I mean, I would have just assumed, you know, uh, Swine Up has a high catch rate, you know. Most late game Pokemon do, so. Alright, I know Vice Grip's not very effective, but, uh, yeah, it still seems to be doing good damage, so. Oh, you're doing this stat buffing. Ideally, because they got bigger and bigger. Ooh, Aftermath! That's a cool ability for Cacturn to have. I didn't see that coming. I'm very glad that did knock us out, though. Oh my, you're so strong. Maybe if I could've won if my Pokemon was holding a berry. Yeah, maybe. That Aftermath, I did not see that coming, girl. Ravage Path? You battle this guy? Uh, oh no, he just tells us about the Rocks Path. Smash bro. Okay, no hidden item here. What about on this side? Good night. All I want is to find a nugget. A nugget of gold. I like gold. Yeah, because we need some more. Ooh, hopefully this will be a nugget. Let's hope, guys. This does boost dark type moves. Uh, let's check everyone's moves right now. I don't remember if we have a dark type move. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, no dark type moves yet. Uh, let's switch. Uh, I wonder what Pokemon we can find in here. Hmm. Well, let's go back and get some Pokeballs. Yeah, because I can buy four more now. Okay, so we'll go back and buy some Pokeballs, and I'll check this area out. Yeah, this area, this uh, next, this video here is gonna be like a catchathon kind of. Well, not necessarily a catchathon, but we're just gonna. You know, look in the grass a lot, kind of like we did in the first couple episodes. So, yeah, because it's a randomizer, you know. I don't want to miss anything good. And I'm curious, so. All right, four balls, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we don't have anything good to sell, right? I'm not, like, blanking on something. Uh, no, I don't think anything here. How much is this? 1050 Wow, I might actually consider that a little later. Uh, for now, we'll hang on to the Moonstone. 1,050 is not bad, though, for this point of the game. How much we get for this? No, oh, that is not worth it. Overheat is way too good. Okay, yeah, I'll consider that Moonstone, though. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's save. We'll check out some of the Pokemon up north. Well, didn't I need to heal too? Let's see. Check my metal crap on. Yeah, I do need to heal. Okay. And I guess we'll put Glybat up front. You know, if we don't find anything we want, we have nothing else we can train. Glybat, I guess. I don't know if Crobat's going to be a permanent team member or not, but uh, it is a solid Pokemon. It does, it does that this early. But, uh, oh, actually, I think what I'll do, instead of Glybat, we'll put Slugma up front, because just, like, if we give it more HP, the fact that this thing can put stuff to sleep is honestly insanely helpful this early. Uh, yeah, we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll put Flava Flav up front. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for that nickname, that was a good one. Alright, let's see if we can find anything easy to catch. If it's, like, an evolved Pokemon, I don't think I'll try... Unless we get it to like 1 HP. Okay. Oh, ooh, a starter Pokemon. War Turtle. 
Well, you know how I just said I wasn't going to try against an evolved Pokemon? Uh, I've changed my mind. Let's use Yon. <laughs> yeah, I've changed my mind. Wartortle is one of my most favorite Pokemon. I love water Pokemon. Um, but to get a starter, that would be Mauler. Uh, let's try Middle Crabmon. We'll try Bubble. Bubble's not too strong. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, actually, maybe one vice grip here. Vice grip. And don't kill, don't kill. Perfect, perfect. Okay, should I try a ball now? Yes, we'll try one ball. Okay, please, War Turtle, please. And we have the Safari Ball, too, so. Okay. One, two. Are we gonna get a three? Yes! Oh, man, we got a starter Pokemon. Awesome. All right, let's see what type War Turtle is. Ooh, Water Psychic. That's good. It'll get stabbed. War Turtle, the turtle Pokemon. It has said to live 10,000 years. Its fairy tale is popular as a symbol of longevity. That is awesome. Okay, so we're going to name you... Uh, well, eventually he'll be a Blastoise. I was going to name him Blastmon, but we'll call you... You know what? We'll call you... <laughs> it's, I just... I'm thinking of Digimon for some reason. Instead of War Greymon, we'll call you... Uh... War Tourmon. Oh man, that sounds like a cool name. Yeah! <laughs> and when it changes to Blastoise, I'll think of a more fitting nickname, of course. Alright, let's go check out War Turtle. Hopefully we got a good nature. Actually, it doesn't matter. The fact that we caught it in just one ball. Yeah, I'm probably going to use this thing on my team. It's a starter, man. It's a starter. All starters have pretty solid sets, you know, regardless. So. Uh, uh, let's see what your ability is, War Tormon. Man, we can give it potentially Psychic. Oh, man, Adamant. Dang, that is a really bad nature. Because it cuts a special attack, right? Hmm. Sniper. Ooh. Interesting. Well, like I said, I'm probably not going to fish for a better nature. Even though I probably should. Let's take War Tormala. And let's put it right... Let's keep Flash with us in case we need Flash for whatever reason. Sorry, Psyfish. Uh, War Tormala is just a little better, so... Okay. Let's get out of here. Definitely gonna save to that though. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see, let's put it, let's start from the bottom, zero. Okay, sweet, sweet. All right, back up we go. We still have like six or so Pokeballs, so yeah. Maybe we'll check out the cave now, because I haven't checked out the cave at all. Well, let's see what this is. We have, right, Swine Up, you know, you know Swine Up's here. Okay, flop on flop. All right, flop on flop. We'll switch out. And yeah, like I said, I don't think I want to try catching uh, uh, Swine Up yet until we get some better balls. So, white frag. Get on. Did you stun the shadow? Ooh, okay. So maybe this thing's grass type or dragon type. Let's see if Peck's effective. Oh, no, wait, that was Thunder Wave, my bad. Whoops. Okay. Mud Sport, yeah. Yeah, in, in this game, you can evolve into Mama Swine, too, right? Ooh. Man, I'm really considering trying to catch this thing now, now that I thought of that. It is probably Grass type. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, Mama Swine, man. Mama Swine's a beastly Pokemon. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. We can't advance in here, but we can look around for Pokemon. So, let's check it out. And what time is it? 4.45? I'll check around in here for about 10 minutes, and then we'll head out to the cave. Unless I run out of balls. We need a Rhino. Ooh, we could evolve that with a Moonstone. Hmm. Interesting. We have some... Uh, let's use Yon here. Let's use Yon. Good job, Flava Flav. Okay, and 
Owl Tree. Let's go to Krabby. And if we knock it out, I won't be too upset, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm a steel wall set. There he goes. Snooze. Bubble. Super effective. Yeah, I guess it's rock type. Okay. Should I try a ball now? No, no, no. One more bubble. One more. Okay, if it stays asleep, I'll try a ball. Okay. Yeah, because Nita Rhino is a pretty easy catch rate from what I remember. Uh, you can find it in like the Safari Zone and stuff. But, uh, yeah. It's usually a pretty easy catch in the Safari Zone, in Kanto and stuff, so should get it here. Yeah, cool. Alright, we caught Nidorino. Sweet. Let's see what the Pokedex has to say for Platinum. Oh, it is Rock-type. Nidorino, that plays it in Pokemon. It has a violent disposition and stabs foes with its horn, which oozes poison upon impact. Man, that sounds beastly deadly. Alright, well, I guess I'll call you Nidorocco. Haha. <laughs> That's an easy name, because you're Uh, yeah, so... Nido... Nido... Nice! Okay. Alright, and we're down to how many balls? down to, oops, no, 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 I don't want to check my money, I want to check my balls, <laughs> okay, we're down, <laughs> we're down to five, okay, let's keep looking, whoa, Honchkrow, okay, Honchkrow is a very cool Pokemon, but there's no way we can catch this thing, you know, this early without, with just regular Pokeballs, there's just no way, I think I'll just knock this thing out for the ESP. Nice. Wow, we just one shot it. Okay. Didn't think we'd do that, but okay, flob and flob up to 20 HP. Good, good. Yeah, the more the better. We need you to put stuff to sleep, so. Yeah. Pichu! Oh, I'm sorry. My none. Can you blame me? Like, Pichu and the whole, like, Minum thing and Puzzle, they all, you know, Pachirisu and Molga, they're all Pika clones. Can't really blame me for getting that one wrong. Uh, okay, let's switch to Grandma. Metal Thunder Wave, oh, that's annoying. I'll probably go back to the center after this, regardless of whether we catch it or not. Yeah, go to sleep, yo. What's up? Minon does have really weak defenses. Maybe I shouldn't have used Vice Grip. Oh, it's a ghost, Minon. Okay. Oh, you woke up already. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, we may want to go to, uh... <laughs> uh... Glymon instead. Oops. Why well, didn't mean to go back to you? But since we did, I'll use Yon again. Whoops. Okay. Alright, Flava Flav, use Yon. Yeah, do that. Use Growl. Don't use Thunder Wave. Don't paralyze my whole team. Alright, we'll switch after this. So, Glymon, get in here, Glybex. There we go. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm Griggity Griggity Ground type. Hey. Can't paralyze a ground type. Ah, nice, nice. That was a crit. Okay. Well, it is in the red, so let's try a ball. Ball time. Yeah. Get in the ball, you peek it clone. A one, a two, three. Nice. We're three for three on catches today. That's actually really good luck, considering we're so low on balls. Might not eat cheering Pokemon. It cheers on friends. If 
its friends are losing its body limits off more and more sparks. Oh, okay, so it's a uh, ghost type. Ghost type by mod. So we're gonna call you Spook Mine? Uh, Boo Mine. No. There we go. I've got it. Boona. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, yeah, let's head back since we got half the team paralyzed. Uh, and then we can check out what abilities or items these guys have. The virtual heal. Okay. That was about that was about eight or so minutes in the cave, so maybe I'll check back another time. But uh, let's see. Okay, got healed up here. Let's check the PC. Okay, so here's Nita Rhino, Nita Rocco, Rock type, naive. Rain dish. That is interesting for a rock type to have. Uh, it, it would have been way better with rock absorb, uh, water absorb, though. Okay, pick in there. Okay, good moves. Okay, and you just have. Oh, no wonder. All it has is Growl and Thunder Wave, and it's a ghost type. What is your ability? Damn. Oh, that is terrible. It's terrible. Although, Minon would. To be fair, Minon's base stats are pretty bad, so it would have needed a. It would have needed, like, a baller ability to, uh, even be considered to be used on my team, so... Alright. It's more for me to train it. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's have a reading. Okay. Let's just head back up and check out the grass some more. Yeah. We're going on the kitchen expedition this episode. I'm gonna save after this battle, too. Okay. It's swine. Let's just kill it. Flava Flava. Yeah. So nice having a steel type this early on. Because a lot of Pokemon start with tackle, scratch, pound, etc. Peck, or whatever. So. And uh, steel resists all those moves. Diglett? Oh my, okay. Hmm. Diglett's a pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, this should be pretty easy to catch as well, because you find it so early in Kanto. I'm pretty sure you find it before you can even get Great Balls. You know, well, before you can buy Great Balls at the, uh, the Mart, so. Uh, we'll just try Bubble with Metal Crap on. Because if I try Vice Group, yeah, it might KO, so. Ooh, yeah, 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 my white smoke activated, that's right. Okay, let's try a bubble. Normally this is super effective, so... Uh, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Alright, we'll get you to about the low yellow diglets. Uh-huh, keep snoozing, buddy. It's a good thing this thing isn't waking up, because I'm sure it knows, like, dig or magnitude. No, it probably just knows scratch right now, but... Yeah. How can Diglett you scratch? Its arms are underground. The world may never know. Alright, don't wake up, buddy. One, two, three. Are we four for four? Aw, oh, four for four, baby. Four for four, nice. Alright. Guess we'll be checking out Diglett. Ghost Electric. Interesting, that's Rotom's type. Diglett, the mole Pokemon. A Pokemon that lives underground. Because of its dark habitat, it is repelled by bright sunlight. And that kind of makes sense. Is Diglett a vampire? <gasps> Leave your fan theories down below in the comments. Uh, <laughs> uh, electric uh, ghost. So, yeah, I w I, when I think of that type, I do think of Rotom. So, I guess we'll put, we'll name you Rotolit. Ah, that actually sounds like a baby form of Rotom. That actually sounds pretty good. Rotolit. Okay, and now I'm down to how many balls? Okay, back to three. So, that's gonna be it for the catching part. Let's uh, head back and do some of the main stuff in the story. Alright. 
Uh, but first, let's check out what Nicolet does. And we'll let's save too. So we'll go to state 9. There we go. And we're still recording, right? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. Let's check out what ability Diglett has. Ooh, it's holding some soda pop. That's a good healing item, if nothing else. Alrighty. And your ability is quirky. That's neutral. Torrent. Hmm. Eh, if we could somehow teach you a physical water move. Eh, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Oops, did not mean to hit pause there. Okay, let's get out of here. Finish checking out Jubilife. So, I'm pretty sure we still need to do the clown thing, so. All we need to do is talk to all the clowns and press yes. Uh, I'm not really going to read what their dialogue says because it's all kind of basic stuff, but. Yeah. So, and there's one over here by the TV. Uh huh. Hold an item. Yeah. So that's three. Where's coupon two? Is it over here? Yes, it is. Okay. Hello. Hold my enough types. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not gonna re really gonna read their dialogue. It's all basic stuff. So. Oh wait, isn't there an item up here? By the. Oh, I guess there's not one. Ah, huh, I thought there was an item over here. Wait, wait. There's something over here, right? Pretty sure. Or can we get an old rod over here? Hello. Uh-huh. Great fishing hole. Do you give me an old rod? Oh, yes I do. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. You should fish where there's body water. Oh, by the way, did you need any tips on using that rod? Sure. First, you want to face any body of water. Then you use your fishing rod. Next, you focus. Focus your mind. If a Pokemon bites, exclamation appears. That's your cue to reel it in, buddy. Alright, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Alright. Uh, oh, there's an item over here. Guard oh. Okay, well, we can sell that for a little bit. Uh, I guess let's try out the rod. Let's, let's see what we fish up here in the platinum. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to catch anything because I only have a few balls, but... Let's register the ride, okay. Nice. I'm glad I thought to come over here. Okay. Let's see what we get. On the waters are a Kecleon. That is very odd. <laughs> um, okay. We'll just uh I'm pretty sure this thing has a high catch rate too. Well, not like high, 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 like Swino. Or some light other late game Pokemon we've seen like Honchcrew, but Usually in, uh, in like Sapphire and Emerald, you don't find this thing until after the sixth gym badge with Winona, so yeah, usually great balls are better, are a good idea on this thing. Oh, don't flinch, Metal Crab, huh? Definitely gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. Dude, stop being paralyzed. Come on, Metal Crab, man. You can do it. Girl, you got this. We're not gonna switch out. Ah, my belief paid off. Oh, good. More HP for a flop of flop. Okay. Level 12. 31 and 30. Nice. Alrighty. Now, I know there's usually about two or three Pokemon you can find with the old rod. Like, normally you can find like Tentacool, Goldeen, and maybe something else in this game. Uh, so we may try the old rod again when we have more money. Just wanted to take a little sneak peek. Alright, so you're for the poke etches, right? One, two, three, Marvel, I say. I return for these coupons. I present this Pokemon watch. Or poke etch. And now the bottom screen does something. There you go. You can add apps to your poke etch to make it even more versatile. Touch the poke etch screen and find the apps that are right for you. Bye-bye. Alright, so yeah, if you change this out, you got a calculator, you got like a step counter. This is the screen I'm probably going to prefer, just kind of like a party screen. But uh, yeah, also like that way I'll be able to see what items our Pokemon have. Uh, it's 
especially if we find a Pokemon that has pickup, or like Honey Gather, or some weird item like that, I'll be able to see like right away, like, oh, they got an item, so. Alright. So what time are we at? Well, it is, uh, just turned 5 a.m. Um, I think there may be one or two other events we need to do in, here in Jubilee before we can leave. Uh, as well, I for sure didn't check out, need to check out the rest of the town. I'm like, the trainer school up, so... But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna save here. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you all next time. Or hopefully we get more money, and, uh, I definitely still want to take a, a, a more thorough look around. Especially up north of Jubilee. Uh... And also in all of the fishing spots we've had so far, I definitely want to take a thorough look around, like Sanjum Town, fish for a good long while there, and uh, and also, uh, yeah, see if we can find anything good. But uh, yeah, we did uh, do very good um, in this episode. We got pretty lucky, and like one of the first Pokemon we ran into was a starter Pokemon, Wartortle. Caught it in one ball, and it has stab, so that is great. So, pretty good progress in this episode, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.